Hi YouTube friends, it's Tom here. Hope you're all doing well. Join me because today we're making another paracord bracelet and this one incorporates hex nuts. So for this one we're going to need a pair of scissors, 140 centimeters and 250 centimeters of 550 paracord. Here we have 18 5 16 hex nuts and we're also going to need a lighter. So start off by finding the center of both cords. Here on the left we have the shorter cord and here on the right we're using the long cord and with the short cord start off just by making a loop and then I'm going to cow hitch this cord to the loop so feed it through take it round the back and then pull those two cords through that bottom loop and then we can just tighten that cow hitch up and adjust this loop here so it's about one centimeter which is around about half an inch so I'm going to start this one off by feeding a couple of hex nuts onto my right cord So just slide those hex nuts on all the way to the base then I'm going to take that right cord over to the left and now I'm going to take my left cord here and I'm going to feed it through the hex nuts going in the opposite direction. So just feed it both through both nuts, pull it all the way through and I've also just melted the ends and uh, rolled them into a point to make them go through the nuts a little bit easier. And now these two center cords I want to bring to the top side so I'm just going to pull those through the loop So those center cords are to the front now. I'm going to space these two nuts out a little bit. Take these center cords around the back and straight through the center. One side and then the other. and then we just need to tighten this up just make sure it's nice and neat and now I'm going to take these two outer cords and cross them over behind those two center cords and I'm going to tie a clove hitch with each cord so I'll start here on the right I'll bring that cord through the loop there on the right and now I'm going to cross this over 
and I'm going to bring it up through the center. And I'm going to tuck it through its own loop here. And then pull that all the way through. So that's one clove hitch. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So left cord through the loop there on the left. Pull it through. Cross it over and then up through the center. It's also going to run underneath that diagonal. So tuck it underneath that diagonal there and then pull it all the way through. And now we can just tighten these up. So I just like to pull the outer strands and then to tighten the clove hitch, I'll pull on those diagonal bars and then pull the slack through. And just make sure this is nice and tight. Okay, we can feed on another couple of hex nuts. So grab another couple and feed them onto your cord all the way through. Take that cord to the other side. Now with the left cord, go through those two nuts in the opposite direction. Now I just want to bring these two center cords to the top, so I'm going to feed them through the loop. Spread those nuts out and then take the cords around the back and through the center. And the same with the left side through the center and Tighten up. Okay, with the outer strands, I want to cross them over the back again. So to the rear of those two center strands. And again, we're going to tie clove hitches. So starting here on the right, through the outer loop. Cross it over towards the center. It's going to go around through the center and then underneath that bar there. So underneath and then pull it all the way through. And 
and repeat that for the left side around and through that left loop cross it towards the center then bring it around and up through the center there and then underneath the diagonal pull that all the way through and again we can tighten these up So the next stage would be to feed another couple of hex nuts on the outer cords and then just alternate between the hex nuts and tying the clove hitches until you get all the way down the bracelet. Once you get down to the bottom we just need to cut off these excess pieces at the side. So Cut them off, singe them with a lighter. And then just press that nice and flat so it doesn't pull back through the knot. And we can repeat that over the other side. Cut off the excess and then singe that off. Okay, now we just need to tie a button down here at the bottom. So I'm going to start with the right cord and form an underhand loop. And then with the left cord, I'm going to form an overhand loop, bringing it over the top of the two center strands going to go around the back and then up through the right loop and the left cord round to the front and down through the left loop and just pull that tight and then we can cut and singe the excess cords so I've cut and singed the button now and that's your finished bracelet. If you like this kind of thing, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching. I like you all and I'll see you on the next video.